Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I want to talk about the crown chop in was 101 and why I personally think it needs an audit now I feel like the crown shop in general kind of has a lot of issues with it and I'm gonna try to not be too overly negative in this video I do want to offer solutions to ways I think they could make the crown shop better uh, feel more desirable to the player and make things more consumer friendly. I think in general, the crown shop and KI's, you know, monetization hasn't really kept up with the times. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff is kind of dated and we're going to talk about everything in today's video. But if you guys agree with anything in this video, feel free to leave a like and sub if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Do you agree with what the stuff I have to say? What would you change? Do you disagree? I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say down there in the comments below. But uh, in general, if you guys do agree with this video, I would really like to see how many likes we can just get on this video for get the community coming together and maybe agreeing on this topic. Because I feel like a lot of people do agree that the crown shop should change or like get an audit. So uh, if you guys do agree with my sentiment for this video, leave a like and let's see how many people can agree with it. So yeah, the crown shop in was 101. I think there's a couple of issues with it. And a common one I actually hear from the community is the fact that pets and the crown shop, yeah, they might be really cute and stuff like that, but they're just like objectively really bad. And a lot of players feel like the costs are really high for the pet the talent pool is really bad and the numbers are actually objectively really bad and really low for what you need typically and in my opinion the system that should be put in place for pets in the count shop is if you want to buy a pet it should not be a horrible pet you know i can buy a pet it might be a little bit scuffed right but it might be like actually actually usable and stuff like that but i feel like the lot a lot of the pets we have in the crown shop are just like really bad in terms of talents and stuff like that like what if you could buy a new pet in the crown shop and it has like good talents but the numbers are bad so you go to the hatchery and you know like hatch up to get better numbers to make your stats better in general i think the talents should just be better also the actual price of the pets i want to talk about now because i think in general the pets just cost a lot for very poor quality again talents and numbers right if it costed this much but i got like proof defy dealer breaker pain all that good stuff mighty in the pool i don't really think i'd be complaining about this price so i think the problem is you just cost so much to get a new pet that's really bad when you could just take a, a noob pet a base like a fire cat get some p9s hatch that with the kiosk or a friend and just get a better pet faster uh with that seven thousand crowns for example here with the jellyfish so i would suggest either taking the price down a lot if you're going to keep the talent pool bad and the numbers bad or buff up the numbers and the talents to actually match the price of the pet right a seven thousand crown pet should have good numbers and good talents in the pool that are desirable to the player next up i want to talk about the bundles which i think is something players have made very clear they don't like and i'm not really sure why ki still has it because i feel like from what i've seen on twitter and stuff like that and the people i've talked to a lot of people don't like the bundle i'm talking about the overpriced ones like the 30k 15k where you don't really get a lot of good things in them i think right now we have a couple of cool bundles like the mander one right here i think this is you know cute I don't think this is harming anybody. I think this is a good bundle to have in the shop. My issue is when we just have stuff like this one where it's really, really expensive. I only want to get that Shinobi mount, for example, but I got to drop 30 racks and I don't care about anything else in the bundle. So maybe if they can filter a way to just pick what you want in these bundles, I think that would be really, really good. Um, again, I do think there's a couple of good bundles in here. Like again, the plushy bear bundle or the plushy mander bundle um i guess if you are a housing player who likes to decorate you could argue the price might be too high or too low now let's talk about something i want to see in the crown shop i would love to see ki actually put out new content in terms of like cosmetics now i talked about this in a recent video i think a month or two ago uh basically saying like dude they could make so many cool new wands in the shop so it's been quite some time since they actually updated this now 
I'm not sure why they stopped updating it, if people just weren't buying it or whatever. But I really think, you know, if there's one thing in the community that's unanimous, it's people like to stitch and they care about how their wizard looks. Even just like reskins or like retextures could go a long way. You know, like, I don't know, man. Like, for example, here, we have the Cerulean Edge that was recently 45 crowns in the crown shop, actually, which is pretty funny. Uh, you could reskin this to, you know, purple for storm, uh, green for life, and stuff like that. Yeah, I know, like, reskin is kind of lazy, but there's more, like, expression in terms of stitches and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. Or I guess you could even just make it dyeable, make your wands dyeable, right? I could buy this and then dye it purple or green for whatever character I have. And just like pets, I feel like most people here are not buying this stuff because of the stats on them, right? Even at these level brackets where you could buy things 125, 85, yada yada, you're not really buying it for the stats. I would say one thing you're buying for the stats at these levels is maybe if you're a Jade around level 90 or 100, this wand is really, really good in terms of stats there. But generally, all of these wands, I'd say you don't buy them for the stats. It's typically for the, for the stitch, you know? And if that's the case, the price should be going down quite a bit if it's going to be a stitch-only item and not really the stats. Or they could have a way to filter it out. Like, uh, the Staff of the Verdant Flux here might cost 5.5k with the stats on it. But if I take the stats off it just for a stitch, I get half the price or something like that. Another thing I want to talk about within the crown shop is going to be elixirs. Now, primarily, I think you know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> P9s and energy elixirs. I think these ones are probably some of the best ones in the game right now. And you can't really get them free to play. You can get them from like uh, hatching peppers and stuff like that. But it's like not really realistic bro right like i maybe get one p9 once every year and i'm a streamer that lends out his pets pretty often and considering some pets can take upwards to like 30 hatches to make i'm gonna be here for 30 30 years trying to make a pet that was good 30 years ago on the second month of that pvp meta so i guess you can make p9s and energy elixirs more free to play and just leave them the way they are in the crown shop now let's talk about something good in the crown shop i think mounts are actually something that is implemented very well in the crown shop i think there's a lot of cool mounts i have most of them personally but i would like to see a way to actually stitch stats on a mount you know I would spend a lot more money on pets and mounts if I could stitch them, right? This Arcus Cloud, for example, one of my favorite storm mounts, by the way, um, but I'm never ever gonna use it because it's a slow mount, it's not 50%, and I don't get any stats on it, right? I'm losing stats by uh, spending money on this mount. So I think having a way to customize and stitch mounts so I could like, you know, take the 50% off this car put it on the cloud, and then also put my two pierce on that mount, you know? Again, you're just simply making the game more customizable and allowing the player to have more expression in terms of their outfit, which again, I think is a very prominent thing within the Wizard 101 community. And I know you've all been waiting for it, the demon that everybody hates unless you're, you know, 20k in depth, IRL, gambling is the pack system. I do like that there is a way to look what's in the pack and you know see what you might get or might want from that pack now so uh, props to KI for adding this little see how it looks on the packs feature. I think that's great. I think the main problem with packs in Wizard 101 is the fact of the matter that you can spend either 400 crowns or upwards to your entire life savings on a pack and still not get the item you want. If there is a way for KI to cap a pack or something before you get an item you want, you know, for example, um, if I spend $5, which is 2,500 crowns on a pack, right, the professor pack, I can pick an item from the pack that I want because then they're designing the game in a consumer friendly way where it's like, okay, this item, this one item within this pack is worth $5 IRL, you know? I think that makes opening packs feel a lot better and it's way more consumer friendly because you'd be actually incentivized to 
uh, go for the pack, maybe get lucky before that 2500 crowns mark or whatever, and get the item you want, or if you don't get it within that 2500 crowns, uh, you know you'll get it when you can hit that, you know, one free slot or one free item you get for spending 2500 crowns on the pack. Almost like crowns rewards in a way, but you pick what reward you want. I think, again, that'd be a lot better, that would feel better, and be a lot more consumer friendly to the player. And again, hey man, if you're only going for one thing and you get it before the 10, for example, I mean, you're going to feel good about spending money on that pack. There's so many examples with me and the guy spent like, I um, mean, upwards of 200 bucks trying to get the Nightmire robe last year. Um, it took us about $400, I think, to uh, get the Chompy Bronto permanent, my money and my, you know, community's money, gifting packs, stuff like that. I still don't have the Storm Gulcher about 300 in, like 270 in right now. Absolutely insane. So yeah, that's how I think Wizard 101 could fix the crown shop. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below, guys. This is basically the main problems I have with it and a lot of what I hear within the community. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it all in this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and take care.